Welcome to a new episode of Resolute Fitness. Today's episode is on intermittent fasting over the Christmas period. So, is it possible to do intermittent fasting or time-restricted eating over the Christmas period? It's the 11th of December today, um, and that's what we're going to be discussing. But first, let's try and find a cool location and get some drone footage in. Welcome back to a new episode of Resolute Fitness or if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for tuning in. Much appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always helps, helps the channel. So I just wanted to make a little video on time restricted eating or intermittent fasting. Uh, like I've explained in a couple of videos previously on intermittent fasting, um, I kind of flip between um, using the the words intermittent fasting and time restricted eating. So today's episode, intermittent fasting or time restricted eating over the Christmas period. Now it's a tricky time of the year because um, everybody's schedule kind of goes out of the window. You've got work, Christmas dues, you've got parties and family coming over and, and whatnot. So your normal routine starts to starts to change quite a, quite a bit. Now should you stop doing your intermittent fasting and throw everything out the window for the Christmas period um, going into the new year. Now last year I, I managed to, to keep it going throughout, throughout Christmas and New Year without sacrificing anything. So I was still still going out, still still drinking, still partying, but managing to hold the intermittent fasting. So the key to the success of this is going to be understanding understanding the facts, understanding the facts and understanding some of the research. So um, like I've mentioned in the past, studies show that if you can hold the fasting for, for five days, you can usually have the two days off, which is pretty convenient because that allows you to have, have the weekend. Now, what happens if your week uh, doesn't look like a typical week over the Christmas period and you've got a few sort of Monday or Tuesday nights and then you've got a weekend to deal with? Now, the key here is, is you've just got to sacrifice your mornings. Just don't eat in the morning um, and hold on for as long as you can. If you can make it to one o'clock in the afternoon, two o'clock in the afternoon, brilliant. That's going to allow you to sort of eat and if you're drinking, drink later on in the evening. And you're still going to then be getting sort of your 12 hours, uh, 12 to 13 hours of, of fasting. I think it's also important that it's um, that we understand that it's not going to be the perfect time of the year in terms of um, training and an intermittent fasting or diet wise. Now if you want to keep it super strict, if you think that you can get through the festivities no problem then fair play to you. Um, but on the other hand, if you're somebody that likes to likes to go out, likes to enjoy themselves over this period, um, all is not lost. I think it's just important to be realistic with yourself. Um, keep at it best you can. Don't worry too much if you um, if you let it slip. If you so all of a sudden only do 10 hours, it's not the end of the world. Um, What's important is that you just don't throw everything out the window and uh, and give up. Myself, for example, I'll be holding off to midday to eat, really. Um, and if I absolutely need something in the morning, I'll probably just have my morning coffee and a protein shake. 
Um, but like I said, I'll try. I'll, I try to be strict as possible in in the morning. Um, but again, like I said, if it's not perfect, some mornings you do want to you, you do want to break that fast. Um, then that's okay as well. We're only humans. If you're not watching my videos on intermittent fasting, um, I'll try and put try and put a couple of cards or links down below. But that that's been going on now for I think close to two years since I started it. Since I heard it on Joe Rogan and um, George St Pierre doing it, and then I, like I said, I started looking into into what. Um, the studies and the information that was out there and that was probably sort of the best for me to, to keep me accountable for me for my own diet um, even though it's not really a diet but you, you know what I mean and drinking drinking I don't worry too much about if I want to if I want to have a drink I'll I'll have a drink um, and yeah like I said just don't put too much pressure on yourself keep it going Keep it close to, 30, uh, to 12 to 13 hours of, of fasting. And just remember, you, you're sleeping for, for seven, eight of them anyway, hopefully. And also, as this video is going out, it's the 11th of December now. And like I said, if you you know you can have two days off from, from the fasting, according to research. So that typically is gonna give you like 20 days over the Christmas period now and um, a new year so you've got, you've got 20 days to, to, to do your best but yeah there you go good luck um, intermittent fasting time restricted eating I've I've enjoyed it keeps me going currently back at uh, Johnson Mill wildlife reserve forest place um, and I came in in a different entrance, so I'm not sure if it's that way or that way. Uh, I know I wasn't walking very long. Um, I don't know, I'm going to try this way anyway, hope for the best. Yep, but a beautiful winter day here, December the 11th, uh, at Christmas period, and enjoying Christmas so far. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not sure if we're the right way. But, we'll see. Quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna double back on myself because I do think I've gone the wrong way. Um, all looks the same, doesn't it? So, anyway, hopefully I will make it back to the car and then I'll be able to put this video up. So, yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday today, so I'll get this up. New video coming on Friday, that's gonna be um, the inertia wave bands that T Mac gave me when we went down to his place. I'm gonna do a little little sort of review on that I think and then Sunday Sunday will be a Wadwell session. Um yeah that's about it. Oh and also I started a a football or soccer coaching channel uh, called Coaching Board which I'm quite excited about because it gives me the opportunity to, to talk about coaching and, and football. So yeah, if you have any interest in football or soccer, then go and check that out, coaching board. And I'll, I'll probably put a little, um, what do you call it at the end, little tile or little thumbnail for it. So yeah, anyway, right, I'm here. Found the car, we are good. 
it's just behind me. There we go. There seems to be two other cars. Uh, I don't know where the people are though. Um, okay, right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, much appreciated. And again, helps the channel massively. Um, yeah, we keep going. Nearly 2020, let's finish the year off strong. Good luck with the um, intermittent fasting.